All right, people, we are back and uh, we are going to hit the rings here for a second and we're just going to talk about strict muscle ups. We talked about all these kipping movements that we do and all these functional things that we see in more in competition, but today let's just address strict muscle up, some small little things to think about that can help you and uh, will hopefully change your life. Okay? Check this out. Very simple stuff. False grip. We haven't really talked about false grip too much, but we have addressed how to get on into a false grip, how to build a false grip a little bit, what kind of that functionality is. Basically what the false grip does is it puts you over the rings already. So if I have a false grip, which is just this really flexed wrist position, I can place the ring right there in that little crease and allow me to have my wrist, I don't know if you can see it in that angle, already be on top of the rings before I start. So I'm gonna start from the bottom where I'm hanging, pull myself up, shoot through, and the wrist is already there. This is almost very simple, um, similar to our kind of a pseudo false grip that we use on the pull-ups. And we haven't talked about pull-ups much either, but it's that little false grip where, sorry, hook grip, where we get that thumb on top of the index finger, middle finger, where the wrist is actually a little bit closed up. And now instead of spinning around the bar for those kipping pull-ups, we actually spin around the wrist, that becomes our little hinge. So same thing is gonna happen here. When we do muscle ups, I'm gonna false grip, and if you see my wrist there, it's already on top of the ring. That's gonna be the key thing. Get that false grip done, you got it, right? Second thing, when we do a pull up, if you watch me from the side here, when I do a pull up with this false grip, key thing is that my chin is in the whole time. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try to lean back and think rib cage to the ring. So I pull rib cage to the rings. You'll notice that I ascend in a little bit of an angle. If I achieve that angle with a stiff body position, I will guarantee that when I hit the top, gravity would actually take care of me and give me the turnover or the transition. So I'm gonna do the full muscle up right now where I'm gonna go false grip here at the bottom. I'm gonna initiate the movement, lean back, transition and what happened there is that because on my ascent I get this natural angle of hang that gives me actually a little bit of leverage to get my transition so it's no longer just a pull behind my back or a elbow snap behind my back it is actually just a little reach over and allow gravity to take care of the rest key thing is that you keep pulling that you keep that position that you keep everything tight Another thing is this, if we keep our chin in and we allow that position to stay solid, if I stay strong in my shoulder position, everything else follows and you'll catch yourself. Right now it's the morning, I'm a little tight and I don't know if you noticed but as I started pulling my rings did this. That I can get away with because I've done it a million times. But if you're not very familiar with that, the closer the rings to your chest, the easier the movement becomes. Simple, right? Quarter extremity, midline to extremity, functional movement, principle number one. So that's something to think about. Another thing is, as you receive in the bottom of the dip, don't try to press out of it right away. Get comfortable hanging at the bottom. Hang at the bottom, get into the deepest dip. There's a reason we say deepest dip and it's because we want you to get comfortable with the shoulder at full extension. So those are things to think about. The dip is a dip, nothing to worry about. The biggest part of the muscle up is the transition. What I wanna see is angles. I want you to come up, toes rise, and then with a stiff body, just allow your head to pass the rings all the way through. Last thing before I forget is when we finish the muscle up, and I've said this before, do not finish with your shoulders on top of the rings. You want to finish with your shoulders past the rings. I come up, shoulders past the rings. The rings are behind me. That's key. If you look at my forearm there, it's actually vertical where the elbow is right on top of the wrist. Key stuff, angles. Show me angles and nice low rotations as you go up. It's not a strict maneuver. It's more of a skilled strict maneuver, right? Try that, see if that helps you a little bit.